There are two reasons why the trucks are no longer taking the shortest route from Morocco to Spain through the Strait of Gibraltar. Starting in around 2007, the European Union began investing heavily in cameras along the southern coast of Spain, which has made it easier to intercept these vessels. The most important reason, however, is in 2011, Muammar al-Gaddafi was overthrown as the leader of Libya. His country, which was formerly sealed off, was plunged into chaos, and that created an opening for the traffickers. Before the hashish that was smuggled into Europe came in quantities small enough to hide in a jet ski, now they're using cargo ships, some of which were the length of a soccer field. What we know is that Libya is not a country of consumption. So the only reason for it to be passing through Libya is because it's part of the highway to get to Europe where it is sold on the streets to users. The inspectors fear that ISIS was involved in the trafficking of these drugs, not as users, but rather as the authority that is controlling the territory and that is therefore able to exact a tax in return for its passage. The question at the heart of our reporting is the extent to which ISIS is benefiting from this trade. And to be honest, we don't know the extent to which ISIS is taxing this route, but that has most worried investigators. For decades, the drug trafficking in Italy and in other parts of Europe has been controlled by the Mafia. And investigators in Sicily told me that they would actually prefer that the Mafia was still in control. They find the specter of ISIS benefiting from this trade to be even more frightening. They told me that ISIS does things that no mafioso would ever consider doing. <laughs> 